Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little bonnet for baby girls between six and nine months old. I'm also going to show you how to crochet the matching headband if you prefer to make the headband. So I hope you like it. Now, this set here is for baby girls between six and nine months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger. Just be sure to check out the information box of each one of the videos, um, as I will leave some information there on how you can make it smaller or bigger. Now, I've already showed you how to crochet the matching dress and the diaper cover. I'll leave a link to these up here if you'd like to make them. Also, stay tuned for the matching baby booties. If you prefer a written pattern to go along with this tutorial, check out my Etsy shop. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the information box below. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. This is the brand of yarn that I'm using. It's called Super Soft Baby Double Knit James C. Brett. Now, if you're in the US, you can use number three yarn. Now, to begin, what we're going to do is a magic circle. So we're going to wrap our yarn like this, hold it right here, insert your hook through this circle, and grab a loop. Pull this string like this, and now we are going to chain two, one, two. Now inside the circle, I am going to make 12 double crochets. One, two, pull this here so that it closes a bit more, and then just continue and make 12 double crochets. So I'll meet you once we have 12 double crochets. The two chains do not count as a stitch. So continue and I'll meet you once we have 12 double crochets to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making my 12 double crochets. So now all you have to do is just pull this string like this so that this circle closes. Now we're going to go on top of the first double crochet, not the chain, so make sure you go on top of the first double crochet like this and join with a slip stitch. And here's the first row. Now, for the second row, we are going to chain two. Remember that two chains never count as a stitch. They're just there so that when we join, there's no gap like this. See, there's no gap there. So now, in this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make two double crochets on top of each one of the double crochets that we did. So that at the end of this row, we're going to have 24. So beginning into the same stitch where I did the, the slip stitch, make two double crochets. Two double crochets on top of the next, two double crochets on top of the next, and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this second row. Two double crochets on top of each one of the double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of the second row. I have 24 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet right here and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain two. And in this row, we're going to make two double crochets. So into this first stitch, make two double crochets, then one double crochet into the next. And then again, two double crochets into the next and then one. Two double crochets into the next, and then one. This is how you're going to continue for this third row. You're going to do two, one, two, one, two, one, all around. At the end of this third row, you should have 36 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 36 double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet right here and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fourth row, chain two. And in this row, we're going to make two double crochets, then one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. Let me show you. Beginning into this first double crochet where I did the slip stitch, make two double crochets, one and two. Then into the next two, make one double crochet on each. One and one. Into the next now, make two double crochets. One and two. 
and then again into the next two make one double crochet on each this is how you're going to continue for this fourth row at the end you're going to have 48 double crochets so all you're going to do is two one one two one one and so on i'll meet you at the end of this fourth row i'm here at the end of this fourth row i have a total of 48 double crochets now to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the fifth row we're going to chain two and in this row what we're going to do is two double crochets then into the next three one 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 two one 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 and so on let me show you beginning on top of this first double crochet where we did the slip stitch make your first two double crochets then into the next three one double crochet on each one one and one now again repeat the same thing two double crochets into the next one and two and then into the next three one double crochet on each one one and one this is all you're going to do for this fifth row at the end of this row you're going to have 60 double crochets i'll meet you at the end of this row i'm here at the end of this fifth row i have 60 double crochets to finish we're going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the sixth row chain two in this row what we're going to do is two double crochets then into the next four double crochets one double crochet on each let me show you beginning into the first double crochet which is the same one where we join with a slip stitch make two double crochets then into the next four double crochets make one double crochet on each that's one two three four again repeat the same thing into the next make two double crochets one and two and into the next four one double crochet on each one two three four and then repeat the same thing at the end of this sixth row you should have 72 double crochets i'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have 72 double crochets to finish. Go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now we're going to make one, one more row. In this row, number seven, what we're going to do is we're going to chain two and we're going to do two double crochets, then into the next five, one double crochet on each. So beginning here into the same stitch we did the slip stitch, make two double crochets, then into the next five, make one double crochet on each. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now into the next two double crochets. One and two, then into the next five, one double crochet on each. One, two, three, four, five, and then again repeat two double crochets, then into the next five, one double crochet on each. This is how you're going to continue. You're going to make two double crochets, then five, two, five, two, five, and so on. At the end of the seventh row, we're going to have 84 double crochets. I'll meet you here at the end okay i'm here at the end of this seventh row i decided not to finish this row here i'm going to leave 11 stitches here so that's two four six eight ten eleven up to here i have 73 double crochets so make sure that you only have 73 double crochets and that you have these 11 stitches here this is going to be the back of the bonnet so we're going to leave it open like this now if you measure it right across like this it's measuring about six and a half inches which is 16 centimeters now what we're going to do for the next row is we're going to chain three and we're going to turn in this row we're going to make v stitches so beginning into the fourth double crochet one two three four make a v stitch each one of the v stitches is going to consist of a double crochet two chains double crochet into the same stitch again skip one two three and into the fourth double crochet make another v stitch 
Now this is all we're going to do for this first row. We're going to start counting rows here. So again, one, two, three, and then to the fourth, make another V stitch. Continue like this to the end of this first row, and I'll meet you here at this other end. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 17 V stitches. Now to finish, we're going to go here to the end and on top of the last double crochet, make a double crochet. And that's how I finish the first row. Now for the second row, you're going to chain three and turn. Now we have the first V stitch. Each one of the V stitches, this is what you're going to do. Into the first double crochet of the V stitch, make a front post double crochet. Inside the chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then this last double crochet here, work a front post double crochet again. Let me show you again. Front post double crochet, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, inside this chain two space, and then a front post double crochet. This is all you're going to do for each one of the V stitches. So continue and I'll meet you here at this other end. I'm here at the end of the second row. Now to finish, we're going to go here at the end and into this second chain, make a double crochet. Now from here on, we're going to repeat these two rows, the row of V stitches and the row of fans. So in the third row, we need to do the row of V stitches. So chain three, turn, and inside each one of these chain two spaces, you're going to make a V stitch. Remember your V stitch consists of a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Jump to the next chain two space and make another V stitch. This is all we're going to do for this third row. So continue and I'll meet you here at this other end. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where we did our V stitch row. Now to finish, go here into the second chain and make a double crochet here at the end. So here from now on, you're going to repeat these two rows, like I said, so chain three and turn. And in this row, we're going to repeat the row of fans. So remember, you begin by making a front post double crochet. Inside the chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then a front post double crochet. Again, into the next V stitch, front post, double crochet, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then a front post double crochet. This is how you're going to continue for this fourth row. When you finish here at the end, don't forget to make a double crochet here into the second chain, then chain three, turn, and then to repeat this row of V stitches. And this is how you're going to continue repeating these two rows. Now, so far we have four rows. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I'll let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the sixth row. So in total, I have six rows, two, four, six. Now, in this next row, we need to do the row V stitches. So chain three and turn. Now, these V stitches are now going to consist of a double crochet, one chain, one double crochet. So instead of making two chains, you're only going to make one chain. That's the only difference here. So continue like this to the end of the row and I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the seventh row. This is where we did V stitches here at the end. I made a double crochet. Now for the eighth row, chain three and turn. Now inside each one of the V stitches, you're going to do a double crochet, actually two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. So we're not going to work the front post double crochets anymore. So just go into the next one and do two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. Again, into the next V stitch, two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets. Continue like this for this uh, eighth row, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I finished this eighth row here at the end. I did a double crochet. I cut my yarn in and passed my yarn through this last loop. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go here to this other end and from the inside 
Here we're going to insert our hook into that second chain, grab a loop in this color white, bring it through the front, like this and chain one now turn and into this same stitch here make a single crochet now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the row below the row of these stitches and we're going to push these two double crochets like this and into this space here right here you're going to now make a v-stitch a double crochet one chain double crochet now again push the two double crochets here and then the center you're going to insert your hook and make another v-stitch double crochet chain one double crochet again make room there insert your hook and make another v-stitch this is all we're going to do for this row continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this row of V-stitches to finish, which is going to go on top of this last double crochet, and we're going to join with a slip stitch. Now, chain one, turn, and into this same stitch here, the first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now, we're going to go into this space. We have the chain one space of the blue fans here and then the chain one space of the v-stitch so insert your hook through both like this and make a single crochet three chains and then again single crochet into this same space now chain two and in the middle between the two v-stitches and the two fans here in the back insert your hook through that space right there and make a single crochet two chains and then again in the middle of the v-stitch and the fan in the back like this make a single crochet three chains single crochet again two chains between the two right here single crochet two chains in the middle of the v-stitch and the fans make a single crochet three chains single crochet and that's all we're going to do and that's what it looks like from the front now continue and I'll meet you here at this other end okay I finished making this row and this is what it looks like so now what we're going to do is we're going to go here around the back and make single crochets I'm going to continue here with this white color oh one thing here at the end I just finished by making a single crochet into this single crochet that was here at the beginning when we started the row of V stitches that we did a single crochet there so that's where I finished now we're going to chain one and into this same single crochet here make a single crochet and then we have these chains make one single crochet and then we have a double crochet make two one and two now there's no right or wrong way of doing this so this is how i'm going to do it so here we have two so basically what i'm doing is where i have the chains i'm doing one single crochet and then where i have the double crochets i'm doing two because it's a longer stitch and then one and then two let's see how many single crochets i have i have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Perfect. I think that looks pretty good. So now we're going to go here to where we have these eleven double crochets. So we're going to skip this row. So go down to the next double crochet right here and make a double crochet. Double crochet into the next. And here we're going to have eleven double crochet. So that's three, four, five six seven eight nine ten eleven double crochets here and then we're going to go to the to this space here not here we're going to go here and this is going to be one single crochet then two one two one make sure you have the same number of stitches 
as we did here, we had 13, so make sure you have 13 here for this side. Continue, and I'll meet you here at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at this other end. I did 13 single crochets here for this side. We have 11 double crochets in the center and then 13 single crochets along the other side. Now we're going to make one more row, so chain one and turn. Here we're going to work single crochets again. So one single crochet for each one of the single crochets from the previous row. This is all we're going to do. So we're going to have 13 single crochets here, 13 single crochets here in the center, and then 13 single crochets along this other side. I'll meet you here at the end to show you our finished baby bonnet. Okay, I went ahead and finished this second row here at the end. I just did my last single crochet, cut my yarn in, and passed my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is done. The baby bonnet is done as well. Now, here, all I did was just attach ribbon with a little flower here with um, some thread and needle and you just sew it there and then i'll and then i'll do the same thing here in the on the other side and then i'll do the same thing and then i'll do the same thing here on this side now the measurements are from the top to the bottom it's measuring about 17 centimeters which is about 6.75 inches right across it's measuring 17 centimeters also which is about 6.75 inches so based on these measurements this little bonnet is for babies between 6 and 12 months also look down here in the information box on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out okay so here's the matching little bonnet to match this little dress that i showed you this one here if you want to see this tutorial just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page from there just click on the video tab and you'll see the tutorial there okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time okay i finished this last row okay i finished this last okay i finished this Okay, I finished this second row of single crochets here at the end. All I did was just make my last single crochet, cut my yarn in, and pass my yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. And the little bonnet is also done. Here, what I did was just um, attach some ribbon like this. This is not too long. I said it's about eight inches. And then I attached a little flower here to match the flowers here on the little dress. Now I'm going to do the same thing here on this side after I finish recording. So let me give you the finished measurements. Right across, it's measuring about 17 centimeters, which is about 6.75 inches, and the same measurements up and down. 17 centimeters, which is about 6.75 inches. So based on these measurements, this bonnet is for a baby between six and nine months old, but you can always make it smaller or bigger. Just be sure to check out the information box below. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make the matching headband. So let's get started with that. Hi everyone, following I will show you how to make this little headband for baby girls. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to crochet this part and then I'm going to show you how to make the little flower. Now this little flower, I made it out of satin fabric, this one here, but you can also make it with cotton. Now the first thing that you need to do is cut five circles because we're going to have five petals. And this is the mold that I used. This here measures about three inches, which is about 7.5 centimeters. You will also need some thread and a needle. Now the little flowers that are in the center are these little flowers that are pre-made and all you do is just sew them into the center. And that's all. So continue watching and I will let you know exactly how to make this little headband. Thanks for watching. To begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this number three baby yarn. You can also use DK weight yarn. Now, to begin, I have 70 chains. This chain here is measuring approximately 12.5 inches, which is about 32 centimeters. To begin on the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a single crochet and one single crochet on each one of these chains. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 69 single crochets. So continue like this and I will meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have 69 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain three and turn. Now into the second single crochet, this one here, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next, make a double crochet, chain one skip one single crochet and into the next double crochet 
chain one, skip one single crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one. This is how we're going to continue for this second row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. Here at the end, I finish by making two double crochets here at the end. Now for the third row, chain one and turn into these two double crochets here, make one single crochet on each, into the chain one space here, make a single crochet, and on top of this double crochet, make a single crochet. Here we're going to work these single crochets. So continue and work one single crochet on top of the double crochet and into the chain one space all the way to the end here. I'll meet you at the end of this third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of single crochets. Now I've cut my yarn, so what I'm going to do next is right here to the side of this single crochet, I'm going to insert my hook. I have two loops on my hook. I'm going to grab a loop with this white color, bring it through, the, through these two loops, now pull the blue here in the back so that that stitch closes and with the white yarn now I'm going to chain one and turn. Now into this last single crochet right here, this, this one here, make a slip stitch. Now chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip one single crochet and into the next a slip stitch chain three skip one single crochet and into the next another slip stitch this is how we're going to continue here so i'll meet you at the end okay i'm here at the end now we're going to go here to this other side so chain three and right in the middle right here make a slip stitch and then again chain three and right here into this first chain make a slip stitch now chain three skip one and into the next a slip stitch chain three skip one and into the next a slip stitch continue like this all the way to the end i'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making this part here I did a slip stitch in the very corner, then I chained three and then did a slip stitch here in the center, chain three, and then finished here on this other end with a slip stitch. Then cut my yarn and I pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done. Now, what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how I do these little flowers because what I plan to do is just put it on the side like this. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is we need to cut five circles. Now these circles here measure right across, they measure about three inches. You can use any type of fabric. I'm using satin fabric here. So what we're going to do here is make sure you have your needle and thread ready. We're going to fold this circle like this in half and then we're going to fold it in half again like this now we're going to go here on this side this is where both sides are so insert your needle like this and stitch across the very edge make sure that you do the same number of stitches so that your petals are approximately the same size like this and then your needle there's the first one do the same thing with each one of your circles and then start right here on this side and same thing along the very edge you're going to sew and then continue until you have done all of them. I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, so once you have done exactly the same thing to each one of the circles, what we're going to do is just pull your thread like this and we're going to join here to the first petal. So you're just going to grab your needle here and just go right here into this side and you're just going to join. Like this, make sure that you pull this and then hold it because we're going to make a little knot right here and you don't want this to move. 
So go back in into the first one here and just make a little knot there. I'm using heavy duty thread here. You can use just regular thread. Just make sure you have two, two strands. There, perfect. And now we're going to open this and we're going to adjust our petals. Perfect, that's what it looks like. Okay, I had to re-record this part. Unfortunately, my video was a bit blurry, so it didn't show when I added my little flower right in the center, but pretty much you just make your little flower and then you just attach a flower right in the center. I used these pre-made flowers. This one here came from the wedding aisle um, at Hobby Lobby, or you can use these that are pre-made. I purchased these from Joann's, but I've also seen them at Walmart, um, which is what I did to this one here. Here. I just used one of these and then I just sewed it in right in the center and then once you have your flower done all you do is just sew it right in the center uh, you don't need that many stitches maybe one or two stitches for each one of the petals and then that should keep it nice and secure there and this is how I did my little flower so I hope you like it so in this video I already showed you how to make the matching bonnet and now I just showed you how to make this cute little headband Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.